Would you mind starting it one more time? <laughs> That's awesome, man. <laughs> that makes your little heart go pump, 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 pump. Yeah. yeah. Excuse me. i got to get this back here. That's the engine within my original. Guess this is what's going on it. Uh, one in a 760 Ford wagon, 71 Mercury. And I put it in there 28 years ago. And I was behind the guy's barn. And I bought the original, I mean, I bought it back 28 years later, and that's oh, just for the engine. I paid 200 bucks for it like I did. Uh, that's how much I paid 27 for years earlier. Yeah. <laughs> that's probably what you paid for, yeah. I love stories like that. It found its way home. It's awesome. Everybody wants to know, this is what really got me inspired last year. It was last, here last year crawling underneath this thing and it had the body on it it's a Plymouth I think and, and he was uh, I was asking him questions and about this and that and, and I told him I'd never built a car but I sure wanted to after seeing this and he said well if you have any trouble let me know and I'll send my wife over to help you so that was nice of him I never did have any trouble but uh, he said he would have took the duct tape off her long enough to help me out if I needed it. Anyway, he, uh, he's a super fabricator. He built these headers. And you should, well, you did hear it, I guess. He started up, but he gave me uh, authorization to, if anybody wanted to hear this thing run today, that I could start it for him since I'm parked here. And, and uh, I wanted to show you, too, he built this lower portion of this manifold and uh, he's quite a welder quite a welder is his trade so but uh, I guess that's what's going to go on this thing eventually and uh, wow it is a thing of beauty get that big old nine inch rear in awesome stuff what this particular show is kind of about is I mean everybody's welcome to come there's one driving in now but what he does here is every year this is just a, his private yard and, and uh, Daryl has a, a potluck every year and he gets people to bring stuff out that uh, are projects that maybe sitting in the garage or the shop somewhere and people don't see it all year long because they're working on it and uh, you know he helps them trailer them out here if they need to be whatever just so you know people can see what they're doing and so we get to see a lot of stuff that you don't see all year long in the car shows because there are many many of them are a work in progress and, you know mine should be a work in progress but <laughs> it's about done one thing I did was I took the sign off the tailgate because with these drawings on here and paintings on here um, it was just a little too busy with that sign so I like this a lot better. This is no emblem off a, I don't know, 34, 36 Chevy pickup or something up on the hood. But uh, I think that looks a little cleaner that way. The body that goes on that chassis over there that I found with the big Ford motor and the headers and all. I just can't get over those headers. Now what I can't get over is that he built them. <laughs> They're just awesome. I wish I was that kind of fabricator. But I'm not. I'm just a our old Arky with a big hammer and a lot of want to. And I want to build another one. I don't know what this thing is. Oh, that's a Cadillac emblem, but fire truck. Wow, cool stuff.